when you know you gotta when it two people come into it and that's what we knew from the beginning um when it was that mona scott and that 50 cent that some mess would pursue pursue with it because that's the whole moniker Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. I'm gonna shift gears on y'all. I, I was very, uh, when I seen the uh, documentary, I love the doc documentary uh, from an outside perspective. How did you, and I'm gonna, I ask her, because me and you already talked a little bit, but how did you feel about the documentary and how it uh, portrayed turned your out. brother and turned out? So I didn't particularly watch it. Um, I've never seen it. Um, as of today, I have no interest in seeing it. Really? Um, I just, I just, for me, I feel like it's it's a, a it's a form of betrayal. Um, for me, you don't seek out people who people have said harm them in any way or any form of fashion. You didn't do it for any of the other people. You didn't go get and be a young boy for. King Vaughn. Yeah. Um, you know what I'm saying? I like get you didn't it. I get go it. get Lil Tim for I get, him. I get it. Um, so you know, to go I just didn't care for that. Um, but I mean that's a part of it's a part of literature, it's a part of journalism. Yeah. You have to get all sides of the story for it to be equal. Exactly. Um, so you know, that's cool. Um, I didn't particularly care for some of the people who were added on to the the roster. The roster. Um, Money Mike Willis. Don't know my brother. You from way on the West Bank. Um, the Fat Fat and all that guy. You wasn't even during that time. Um, it's just, I just felt like the people that they, the, a lot of the people that they chose were great candidates. Um, but I just felt like some people, they could have replaced them with other people. Yeah. Um, who like could have told. who did you wish was on there? I wish they would have got Mac. Um, I wish Mac really? would have been on there. Um, I wish people like Snoop Dogg who could, you know, really paint right. that time frame. Snoop was on there, but it was just very, very yeah, yeah, slim clips of what, clip. Yeah, clips of what, yeah. Very slim clip. He um, didn't talk distinctly, you know, to About Snoop, him, yeah. yeah. Like, people about who Snoop. really, like, you know, like, when BG come out, like, people who have an authentic relationship and grown with him during his time as an entrepreneur. Um, I didn't really care too much for about the no limit time frame because I don't think at that point he was um, really, he was a great artist, but he was really a phenomenal artist when he went into his own yeah. pad on music. That's what I was and gonna yeah, you gonna yeah, say the same thing? I, I think that should have been capitalized more and that's what we really, so it really upset me because I pushed hard for my family um, to participate in that because I really wanted people, and it really still stood because I wanted people I asked of them that we let people know who he was, that people could see what he looked like, his face. Uh, you know, a lot of people don't know what he looked like. Correct. A lot of people don't know what he's, who he was besides that name of that day. I didn't know the face to add to that. So yeah. that was my whole thing when I went to my family for them to participate in this because it was no from the beginning with them. Wow. Mm. Um, so that was my whole thing for it. And I mean, like I said, it did, work for that but when you know you gotta when it two people come into it and that's what we knew from the beginning um when it was that mona scott and that 50 cent that some mess would pursue pursue with it because that's the whole moniker so when the whole yeah we on boss talk 101 yeah we gonna talk